All right, Shalawam, Shalawam, Yasharala. This is another GMS Raleigh collaboration once again. Through the spirit of Pavi Al-Bashim Al-Shah, Bahashim I'm the brother Nakwam. I'm the brother Kafasham. I'm the brother Gadal. And before we go any further with this Lord's with an edifying lesson, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. 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 Bahashem. 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 Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Rakakwadash. Bahashem. Rakakwadash. Bahashem. Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth. According to the Bible and Ruel, the Shalawam to y'all, the Akim that's out there laboring in the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in the name of Yahweh by Shemel Shah out of fear and sincerity of heart. You know, and pretty much this lesson is going to be centered around the fear in the Lord, man. You see, fearing Yahweh by Shemel Shah, who the world ignorant goes God is Jesus Christ, man. You see, you can never get enough of it, you know. So, uh, Gadal, you can go first. This is Second Chronicles, chapter nineteen, verse seven. Mm -hmm. Wherefore now, let the fear of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, be upon you. Yep. Take heed and do it. Right. Take heed and do it, man. Fear in the Lord, cause why? Cause when you fear the Lord, like the Scripture says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, and it drives away sins, man. You see. Where at present it turns away your wrath. So when you fear your how about Shema Shah, you got that 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 reverence, that deep respect, you know what I'm saying? That um that uh that reverence for your how about Shema Shah, those names, man. You see, you're gonna do the things to the best of your abilities, not to piss the Lord off. You see? And you're gonna uh keep the commandments to the best of your abilities. Read on. For there is no iniquity. With Yahweh, our, our power, mm -hmm. nor respect of persons, mm -hmm. nor taking of gifts. That's right. See, the Lord doesn't show no favoritisms, man. If you're not right in the eyes of the Lord, it don't matter who you are in society, man. You see, it don't matter how uh, how pretty you are. It don't matter how big your name is in the streets. You know, it don't matter about none of that, man. If you're not right in the eyes of Yahweh, by the Lord Lord's going to delete you, man. You see, the Lord is not a respect of persons. No, you can't bribe the Lord neither. Because the scripture says in the Proverbs, the 11th chapter, in the fourth verse, that riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death, man. You see, so you can't pay the Lord off, man. All right? The Lord don't care about none of that. That was it for that scripture? Uh, Bring out that next one, Baba Kusha. This is Psalms 111, verse 10. Mm -hmm. For uh -uh, so like it. the fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. A good understanding of all day that do his commandments. You got that, bro. His praise endures forever. Mm hmm. So those who are obedient to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, they would they would uh, take your time, bro. Salakia. Take your time, bro. Read they it over again. How, they would know how to apply the scriptures. Mm -hmm. A good understanding. Have all day that do his commandments. Mm -hmm. So you will you will have more of a of a insight. You know you will be uh you will have you will have prudence. You know you will know um you will understand the uh the laws to the best of your ability according to the according to the scriptures. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? When the scripture says a better understanding of all day 
that do his commandments, man, you know, I have a better understanding of what? Of the scriptures, man. You see, because when we was back in the world, man, you know, we didn't know nothing about this truth, man. We didn't know nothing about the Bible. But it's once Yahweh Bashima Shah gave us the, his Holy Spirit, you know what I'm saying? We was able to understand the scriptures more better, man. You know? And now we know, that's why we say we got the 100% truth starting off for the head of apostles and other bishops or great millstone on down because we got the fear of the Lord, man. Go to the next precept, Baba Kusha. It says Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Right. And strength of salvation. Right. The fear, it means like it, the, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible is what's going to keep us steady. Steady in these times, man. What times are we living in? We're living in bad times, man. You see? So the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures is going to be our faith. Because that's where that word uh, stability goes back to. It goes back to faith, man. You see? We walk by faith, not by sight. It says in strength of salvation. And what else? And the, the fear of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Is his treasure. Right, and the fear of Yahweh by Hashem Shah is his treasure. So the fear of the Lord, which we have through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Shah, it was given to us from the Lord, okay? Especially once we heard these words from the men of the Lord through the spirit. You know, it's a gift, man. It's, it's, it's a viable a possession that was bestowed upon us from the Lord, man. You see, so Lord's willing, you know, we be a part of the elect. We endure to the end, man, and keep having that fear. Of the Lord, man. Yahweh by Shimei Shah, who the world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. Lord is willing, man. That was it for that. Con. Con Pasha, you up next. Uh, okay. This is Ecclesiastes, the 13th, uh, the 12th chapter, the 13th verse reads mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yep. Here's the most high. And keep his commandment. Mm. For this is the whole duty of man. Yep, you got that, brother? Yeah, I got it. Uh, this is a command for us to to fear. How about you and Yahweh Shai? And that is, that is our duty. It is a command. We are commanded to uh, to fear how about you and Yahweh Shai. And these are his words that he is uh, commanding us to do. You know, uh, to fear him. And keep his commandments because when you when you fear uh, something, you're gonna do one or two things. You're gonna either submit to it or you're gonna rebel against it, right? Mm -hmm. So here we are, fearing the Most High, submitting to His laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, but because we understand that this is the whole duty of man. Mm -hmm. I got a precept, brother, if I may bring it out. Go ahead, bro. All right. I got one in uh, Deuteronomy. I like this one. Uh, Deuteronomy, uh, the 10th chapter, the 12th verse. Mm hmm. Bring it out. Yeah, it reads, And now, Israel, what does the Lord, thy power, require of thee? Mm -hmm. This is a command. Mm hmm. He requires us to, but to fear how about Shem Yahweh Shah, the Almighty Power? Mm -hmm. To walk in all his ways, keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments, mm -hmm. to the best of our ability, to observe the Sabbath, to observe the holy day, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, live separately from being the world, but live separately from the way the world uh, is living, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, uh, so, and he, and he says, to love him. This is this is the way we show that we love the Most High by keeping His laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, and coming out of the world, you see, with all thy heart and with all thy soul, you see. That that is the command. That's all I have on that, brother. Mm hmm. Gone, gone. That's right. You know, hey man, hey, could have said it better myself through the Spirit. You can go to that next one, Baba Kasha. All right. Uh, Uh, Joe 28 28. Yeah. I got it. I'm dead. No, I do. 
Yeah, man, it's all about fearing the Lord and keeping the commandments. Because as a matter of fact, the 13th verse says, it's for our good, man. You see, this is how we prosper. This is how we're living good in the eyes of the Lord is by fearing him and keeping his commandments. That's what it's all about, man. You know, this is that's why we know what to do, what is well pleasing to the Lord. Okay. Read it on, bro. Okay, this is Job uh, 28 and 28. Yep. It reads, and a true man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Right, he says unto man, what man? The Israelite man. Okay, beginning mm -hmm. with the men, then the women and children, man. Okay, hold on, Salakia, Salakia.